Greetings. 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 Have your life on here right now too as we are around your tune. Um, are you okay just holding there for a couple of minutes, Empress, while this tune play? Yes, everything is alright. Alright, give that. You can climb any mountainside as long as you try. You can fly high. You can fly It's your life. Shine down. Go ahead, pave the way to your dreams, to your destiny. Give up on your goals, you'll be sad till you roll. See, I rule my, rule my destiny. See, I rule my, rule my destiny. Teacher, I could have been a ballad. I could have been a naughty dread. I could have been on the news and young star. Oh, yes, but for star. me, rust of far right. The answer, see, I rule my, rule my destiny. See, I rule my. www.sfdcradio.com We got the Empress on the line. She's ruling her destiny. Are you ruling your destiny? Are oh, you locked into the A1 station? The new BNB. Bean. My name is Kush Genesis. Remember, say Monday through Friday, originally 8 p.m. till midnight. Yes, United Kingdom, Luton Town, Bedfordshire. We say big it up, Marsh Farm, Loose Farm, the whole of the inner boat areas. Remember, say we have the Empress from the line track title, Destiny, at this moment in time. I do want to say a special greetings tonight, Celine. Welcome to the show, the Nubian Beat, www.sfdcradio.com. Empress Kalila Rose. Can I say, blessed Rastafari? Rastafari Empress, give thanks and give thanks for the connection you're coming to. Is your reception okay at your end, Empress? Yeah, the reception is good now. Give thanks and praises. Blessed love. Give thanks for joining us on the line. Yes, and Jamaica, where you know people, the time hours is different. What is the weather like in Jamaica, Kalila? Um, you know, of course, it's always beautiful in Jamaica. What we are said to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And, um, Again, just for the benefit of our listeners, because you know there's many, many artists and empresses, male and female, and artists and rising up all over. And for the benefit of some of our new listeners, we could just start off with finding out who is Empress Kalila Rose. So, if you can first just tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, um, obviously you're in Jamaica. Where in Jamaica? Yes. Where, where in Jamaica were you born and, and raised? Um, I was actually born in Vol Bay in Jamaica, but um, I was raised in. For a little part in Jamaica, but I was raised a lot in the states. Okay, all right. From from so so you migrated to the states at from what age? From before I was three. Okay. Do you have any? You, oh, that's a very young age. I suppose you wouldn't have much recollection of that migration period. 
Um, and then what came back to Jamaica? What, at what at what age then, Kalila? Sorry. What, 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 what stage did you come back to Jamaica? Um, I was back and forth, back and forth, and and um, so it it was a come and go kind of thing. All right, okay, blessed. So musically, you know, um, musically, how long would you say you've been in the music industry, say professionally? Well, um, the music industry professionally, I uh, the years go by so quickly, you know. <laughs> yes, it maybe so. um, but. I can't really tell you. Maybe about seven, eight years, probably. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, how did this all start for you? How did the journey start for you, Empress Macaulay? Did you did you go to school and go to drama school, or music school, and things like that? How did your journey start? No. Uh, um. Well, you know, in school I did practice music, but it was just something that's within me. You know, I have from my dad's genes. We we all love music, whether we sing a church or. Whether I have a cousin that is um, a band figure in um, in Jamaica right now, a, a drummer, and music is just I have a, a brother that is a selector, a brother that is a, a producer. So music is just in my blood. So, so I, have you I, have you always been singing, or, or, or have you ever played like an instrument, a piano, a guitar, or is it well, just Well, I tried vocals? playing a few instruments. Um, I tried <laughs> playing <laughs> violin. I tried playing clarinet. I uh, tried playing um, guitar, but bass is more of my love. Yes. That, that's the instrument that I really connect with still. Yeah, give thanks. So how did it come about now? What was that defining moment for you to decide that music was going to become your career? Because I know, obviously, you've got your, your teaching degree and your master's degree in teaching. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what was that crossroad that made you decide that now is the time for change? What was happening there? What was that defining moment? Why, obviously, this this new venture now, is, you've embarked upon this new venture of, uh, with your solo career. What was that well, changing moment? What was going on? You know, it's it, it, it's, a, it's a thing where you have this, this seed that is coming like the seed just planting at you. Mm -hmm. And if you don't water it, if you don't really take care of that seed it's mm. it's still there but it's just being just it wants to grow so it was just something that was in me that was always there but i was not watering it but little by little yes. it was catching some water and it just flourished you yes. know and and as a rasta as soon as i you know really start shut up and start live like a rasta empress mm -hmm. that's when that's when i realized that um the powers of music and the message of Rastafari can be delivered through through how the you know the music and the power that the music has. Give thanks and praises. Give thanks. Yes. Yeah, so yes. Yeah, so so obviously the realization of Rastafari plays a crucial influence in in everything you're doing. I take it. Yes. It it is. Um. Are you the Empress? Empress Kalila. Have we lost Empress Kalila? Okay, we're gonna get her back. We're gonna play one of her tune. Meanwhile, we're gonna connect up. Yes, with Empress Kalili. Yes, and then we'll try and get her back on the line. This whole tight every time. Blessed love. This is the Nubian beat. My name is Coach Genesis. Welcome, welcome to the show. <laughs> Track title: Destiny. <laughs> Empress Kalila Rose's whole tight folks will soon get her forward. Kalila Rose She's ruling her destiny Are you taking control of your fate and your destiny? I could have been a dancer But I am a teacher Could have been a dancer But she's a teacher I could have been a ballet I could have been a naughty dress I could have been 
Special greetings, special welcome to the show. The nice to the nice to be the master gun, the goose, the gas, gonna ma we gonna ma we more boss the eye slash the eye, Empress Men in the first. Empress Kalila Rose. She's ruling her destiny from Jamaica way. Uh-uh. Nubian B. Original. Special welcome to the show if you're just locked down. Special greeting to all those in the chat room, all the silent listeners. Blessed love. It's all about the wisdom, it's all about the message. More than the messengers, not feeling the weird. Ah, yeah. As we continue rinsing off, yes, while we try to connect it with the sister Empress CM, we will touch up her album name and touch up her tracks then. Yes. Thank you this track, very interesting track. Nice composition again. Track titled Your Eyes. It's nice to see somebody's eyes. Sometimes your eyes can tell quite a lot. When you look into your eyes, does the, does the soul speak to you when you can look into somebody's eyes? Does it go the same way for you? Do you need to look into somebody's eyes when they talk to you? What if they wear dark glasses? <laughs> Originally, we're linking up with Jamaica Way. To the one station leading the way. Nubian B. This is an Nubian B. Empress Kalela Rose. Greetings. Are you there, Empress? How are you doing? Yeah, sorry about that. No problem, Empress. I saw it go when it's real and when it's live. You know, no worry about everything. Everything is everything in the scheme of things. Everything right. is blessed. So we give thanks and praises because so sometimes the mechanism works and we're live and we're direct. We're coming to you from Luton Town, Bedfordshire, the United Kingdom, and we're beaming out to the world. And sometimes we know that the unforeseen circumstances them can also arise. So we yeah. give thanks and praises for the connection again, yes? Yes, thanks. Blessed yes. love. And we say, Empress, I will give you that because we were talking about obviously the power and the strength and the overall influence of the liberty of Rastafari that it has on your career. Yes. You, you know, well, um, Rastafari is something that is, is so mystical that it, I learn so much about Rasta every day. It's more and more and more and deeper and deeper. And it's just for me, I feel as those of us Israelites who are in the West, we have been gone through so much from slavery through all these type of conditions we are living now, through the implication of drugs in our community. I feel that Rastafari is the remedy for our nation and our people. So I just want to continue to uplift the message that um, Rastafari is the truth and the light. 
<laughs> yes, give thanks, Empress. Because we don't know it's uh, in the liberation struggle, it's not a male thing. So we give thanks and praise when our empresses and when the princesses them rise up, yes, and take them rightful place also in the, in the liberation struggle. So we give thanks because it's all about being a part, yes, of a sacred per mission and a sacred duty. Talking oh, about yeah. missions in life, also, Empress. You know, you know, yes. you're on the mission. What is it? No, you're on the mission. You know, for the benefit of our listeners to hear your testimony, what is your mission? Well, you know, my mission is just to bring awareness to our 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 people who have been the victimized, you know, just victims, and just to bring awareness and upliftment to to just our people, and that's my message. And and whoever wants to join us, we are all welcome. It's 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 for everyone at the same time. But the human race really needs more upliftment and positivity because when we turn on the radio, sometimes. Uh, more, more time is like it's very disrespectful music very washed out music music that doesn't require any kind of it it doesn't really uplift the spirit in a Ooh, positive manner okay. so my 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 purpose is to provide that yes give thanks empress for that again touching on that so obviously you know you touch one a vibration for us over here in the united kingdom and in luton town when we listen sometimes we assume say jamaica always a wrong thing musically what are some of your concerns about the kind of music therefore that is being played on jamaicans airways <laughs> that's that's a whole next interview <laughs> we are set to make that serious well it's yes you know Music is the power that is in music is is so underestimated that I feel you know sometimes it's the individuals that the puppeteers mm -hmm. that kind of want to control communities in a certain way, make sure them put certain kind of music you know on the radio, mm -hmm. and which is 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 a situation because culture artists sometimes are not getting the break that they can they are supposed to get okay because um they are not willing to do certain certain things to get the to the exposure what do you because mean certain you have to pay like a what? lot what do you mean certain things pay. like what empress what are we talking about Unfortunately, there's something called payola. Okay, yeah, because we were, <laughs> we were hearing over here that artists have, um, maybe have to pay some money to get yeah. them to play. Is that, is, is that the reality? That's the reality of the situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. See and, and, you know, I think more time a certain kind of artist that deal with certain things, when you hear it in their music, they possibly, you know, them deal with certain things where them could find a big amount of money and stuff like that, but certain culture artists don't really have the means and those kinds of things more time so they don't get as much play not all pay not all radio stations work that way you know so, so and I must admit not all radio stations work that way but some of them do okay so there's a great concern for the ethics and the integrity yes in the radio station especially in the music side of things what we're saying yes Yes, yes, and that's why you hear certain music and you're not hearing, you know, certain type of music. Yes, interesting, interesting, because, you know, because we're wondering what is, what is going on with the conscious music then from out of Jamaica, because we over here in the United Kingdom, everybody's looking to Jamaica as if Jamaica are running, and sometimes we wonder if sometimes if we are produced better music than Jamaica, but obviously things are going on in Jamaica, but nobody's hearing it, because obviously the way, whatever political reason, whatever the, the vibration is, for some it's reason. It's definitely political, you know? Yes. Yes, it, no doubt. We assume it's more political than anything else. But even for artists same like yourself, you know, Empress, you know, and we give thanks. You still arise, but when we know the struggle, have to continue. And yeah. you know, in reading about you, many things you do, we notice that amongst other things that um, you have a very strong, you have a very strong base in Africa. Yes, it's, you know, mm -hmm. you know, and how did that come about? You know, how did tell us tell us about that strong African base? Have you been to Africa personally? Um, not as yet. I had I had an opportunity to go to South Africa, but you know the promotion or the promoter something didn't come true with that ex that show. But um, you know I feel I it was just something that was within I. You know I was fortunate to grow up and as a young child and was exposed to some elders, some Rasta elders, mm -hmm. and just to see how they move. 
and they didn't I didn't hear much talk about Africa mm. but I felt a I felt a connection I felt something was missing okay. here you know I wasn't I wasn't I felt something was something was missing and when I learned of Rastafari and where this king is from I started to look more into Africa and that's when I decided that that is our I and I home mm -hmm. and that is where we need to look in order to understand how we should live. Give thanks, give thanks and praise you for the inspiration. Yes, because it's very important. Like we often say that, you know, history is so important that um, our ancestors, um, with all the evidence they've left on the earth, the one thing they constantly remind us of is mankind know thyself. Yes, I was... History in the West starts at slavery, supposedly. Yes. You know, history for the black man. And that is not the reality of the situation because we come from royalty. So we have to know them part there. Well, give thanks, Empress, because as a matter of fact, you talk, you, you touch upon a crucial point there. So no, because in the United Kingdom over here, so right now, it, it, it's what they call Black History Month. You know, yeah. You know, and there's no continent in the world named black. You don't hear other people calling themselves by them color. So it's quite interesting how sometimes the dynamics and, 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 and the politics involving when we label ourselves as black. You see me I say more than, you know, African or Kushites or Nubians, etc. So again, we do have black history month over the United Kingdom one month. Again, where many youths are disenfranchised, you know what I mean? Because of the same statement where you say, you know, many schools and institutions are still trying to perpetuate that same negative that fabricated history you know what I mean that, you know that our our beginning starts with with slavery when we are you know when we, you know with our history when there was no history there was African history there was Kushite history there was the ancient history so exactly what, you know so again this is and why the biblical history is I and I history yes and Empress that is a very interesting you know it needs to be expressed more well definitely so because like we said the truth will set us free if we do the research for yourself and like you said biblical references is there you got biblical references now you have historical references now and now we have scientific references so when we yeah. encourage the youth them to do them do, do them more research for themselves the whole objective is to we're not there for, you know, for dictate to nobody and tell them this is that but we encourage I want to do them more with the, the truth will set you free but I want them must do them more research for themselves because the biblical references is a guideline but you have to see how that manifests itself historically and scientifically that's why when we look at the oldest bones upon this earth, the anthropologists and archaeologists and the scientists, then we have to encourage the youth them to look through them channels there and see say, everything starting at Ethiopia, the ancient Kusha, we were, we were the ancient people, you know. So, yeah, yeah so we, we, we give thanks to our empresses, them like yourself, rise up with the same kind of teachings every time, yes, sir. Empress, you know, I touched off on a track, you know, Destiny, you know, tell us about the thought process. When was that track composed? I'm not sure. I'm so bad with time and timelines. How we are set to be? I just know so young. Are you so bad with time? I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, um, it's, it's a beautiful composition anyway. So, what do you write all your tracks, then, Empress Kalila? Yes, most of them. Um, ninety-nine percent, maybe. If, like, for instance, I had a song, um, Hail Him and someone gave me one word I gave them credit for the one word that they have given oh, me bless you that but though. in destiny no one gave me anything so that one was all written by myself okay beautiful vibration excellent before I touch on the next track you know what I mean your eyes you know what I mean just tell us a little bit briefly about your first European tour that you launched yeah you know um, I went to Amsterdam and UK and that's when I realized that UK it was it was a very warm feeling, Excellent. you know. Lovely. It was it was cold and warm at the same time. Nice, that's nice. That's, I <laughs> know what when, you mean. Especially when I touched down in Brixton, mm. I felt such a um. I, it reminded me of home, you know. So I was just very pleased to to be embraced by the Jamaicans in UK, mm. and just the the treatment was so royal, and it's I give thanks, you know, and have to have to big up, um, you know. Nadifa and and Lion Wise and okay. certain individuals in in UK that embrace even Just Ja Just ja magazine mm -hmm. which I'm featured on the cover All this right. for this month's issue Black History Month issue so that's a blessing as powerful, well. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Give thanks for that Empress. Beautiful every time. So this year now Empress Kalila Rose. Yes, this year 2013. How has the year been for you so far? Well, you know, this is a blessed year. Every year is a blessed year because it's more and more um, coming closer to the truth, you know. 
So I just give thanks. Music is playing. More and more radio station are playing the music and le- reaching out to the eye and stuff like that. So I just give thanks for everything. I know everything is in your time. Everything is in your time. I tell you, no, you know, because I tell you, it's like, I will, everybody's like, you cover some enough grounds you know, because it's like, the Eastern reports about you all over the place, it's pure good news, uh, pop up about you all over the world, your show, <laughs> it was, it, it, was it Aruba, it was reported yes. as a success, for, yeah, especially for a first time appearance, tell us more about that. Oh, wow, Aruba was a blessed, you know, experience, because once again, the people of Aruba just love reggae music. Them love Jamaica. Wow. Them love just the mission. Mm-hmm. I went there to do a conference and I had to speak on legalization of, of the herbs okay. of, of ganja. Interesting. And yeah, it was interesting, <laughs> you know, because for myself, I never really thought so deeply about um, what the herb means and, and the, the powers of the herbs, okay. you know, and it was just an eye-opening experience. I learned so much about medicinal ganja, okay, marijuana, yes, cannabis, yes, sativa, yes, whatever yes. you want to call it. Bless. And it's just really the healing of the nation. Yes, whoa. So, yeah, they give they gave that blessing to me, and and just to know that Jamaica is one of the leading nations. <laughs> 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 that has, you know, is so abundant and and grows such such great grade. Jamaica will <laughs> leave the way if if it comes to slave rebellion plantation. Jamaica leave the way if we are blown up <laughs> slave man plantation. Jamaica leave. That's why sometimes Jamaica get get the blame of everything. <laughs> for real, for real. And you know, in Aruba where they're such intel, they're so intelligent and they, you know, they teach me so much. And but they cannot really, they don't have the facility to grow certain things like. Okay. Jamaica, you know, wow. but you know the the crowd. The reception crowd, was lovely. Yes, it was wonderful. It was a, a wonderful. So what about encore? You get you, you get a, a encore too? <laughs> and, <laughs> um, not really. I don't think so. <laughs> Performed a while, and um, they do want to bring me back, so they're looking forward to um, going next year early. Give thanks and praises. Yeah, you're locked into the A1 station, folks. www.sfdcradio.com. My name is Christian. This is currently linking up with JA Ways. We're talking to the Empress Kalila Rose. Yes, it's all about her career. Yes, we know in in, in, in New York, Kali, uh, Empress Kalila Rose. You, you know, you grace more stages with a few lines of headlines, and there was a, a particular the highlight um, to, the, to, to, um, to, to New York experience. What's going on there? How was the New York experience and all that? Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've never been that side of the world myself. I, as a musician myself, and I've never, mind you, I've never been to America. So, um, you know, what yeah, was, yeah. You well, know. you know what? There, in New York, in Brooklyn, mm-hmm. there are plenty, plenty, plenty rastas. And and it's very plentiful in the Caribbean culture, the Jamaican culture. Okay. So, but New York is a place where you know reggae artists always touch down. So it's very cultured in terms of music, right. and music is is ever living there, and it's needed there. The the message is needed because the the energy in New York is very it's is very Babylonian. Okay, I was gonna say, what was the vibration level like in New York? Okay. On that level, there, so that's probably mm-hmm. why I haven't gone there yet. Okay, there's no <laughs> rush. I'm, I've been spending most of my time in Africa, to and fro into Africa. Africa is Africa, carry the swing. Yeah, give that. That's a blessing. Uh, bless <laughs> okay, Empress, um, where we're going to I want to touch on the next track. Yes, I've got uh, what I've got lined up is your eyes. Tell us about your eyes. Do you know when that one, when did you compose that one? What is the thought process going on there? Well, it, it's you know, I can always tell the truth you know and it, it's a true story mm-hmm. so it's just an experience that I had with an individual when you know I looked in their eyes and you know you just saw a beautiful soul a beautiful I- iris so and then the music just came for, from that okay so what, what, what if the person's wearing dark glasses no you they have to take off them glasses <laughs> no, not really. I'm not. It, it was just a moment that I was a around. The first, yeah, it was a moment. Oh, that it, it just. It was just a moment that just make for make the song. So I guess that was the you know inspiration. Okay, introduce this track for our listening audience, please. When I'm looking in your eyes, your soul speaks to me. 
این شردان Empress Galila Rose we ever on the line Big things going on Jamaican connection within Luton Town Bedfordshire United Kingdom to the world special greetings welcome to the show Title your eyes www.sfdcradio.com We're coming at you Luton Town, Bedfordshire, United Kingdom Special greetings to the world We have the Empress on the line World tight Uh-uh And I tell the man, since the station, I go on and off. Empress Kalila Royal, she have the record to date. You know, for the most people who lock into the show, you know. Yes, my show is the Empress, she, she hold the record to date. From this date, we show it's about a historical, cultural, and a spiritual journey. Yes, to date, the Empress have the record to date. The most of people them who log on and listening, yes, to our Guam. Special greetings tonight, to the show every time, yes. Try to title your eyes. Are you the Empress? Greetings, yes, sir. Give thanks and praises every time. You know, that's so, good news. 
Yes, beautiful news. Beautiful yes, news. I can say legalize it. Yes. <laughs> Give thanks. You know, <laughs> Empress, we know there's a whole heap to you and there's a whole heap of works you are going with in the universe. And we give thanks and praises for the strength of our sisters them, every time and the strength of our black women them, through the ancestors them, every time and through the most time. What can you tell us about um, the launch of the Creative Jamaica Scholarship for selected children across Jamaica? Yes, well, uh, it's just a scholarship that, that is based in, in academics and the arts, you know. And I launched the, the scholarship this summer, and the first we gave away six scholarships, or Lovely. seven scholarships, mm -hmm. to some youths from Cockburn Penn and some youths from Boulder Bay. Nice. And it, they had to go online, they had to fill out an application and write, um, write up something and we have something else coming up in December where the children will create a piece of artwork and receive a scholarship from that. Because, you know, to, to use the money to, for education, because it's very important for us to inspire children to keep pushing forward. And it's not just for those who are scholarly children, because I wasn't a scholarly child. So it's just an, a child that wants to continue to pursue education, whether it's the arts or in, or just c continue to pursue education. Period. Blessed love, that is beautiful, beautiful Empress Kalila Rose, lovely. You know, um, we we'll put things to get in, and I know the time is always the essence. Empress, you know, this Saturday we've got November the second, the coronation day of His and Her Imperial Majesties. Can you just tell us from your own personal view what does that day mean to you? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> you know it's just it, it it means so much because it is it is true Rastafari that teach I and I that that we are called and chosen, and Rastafari just shows that it was it was a great shock when the king brought forth the queen ah, to yeah, touch you know, it. yes touch by the talk to me yeah to crown at the same time and you know. Even the the individuals in the Jewish community, uh, which which are, you know, they know so many things about I and I yes. that they take things that we should know and use that to live, and they they hold so much knowledge and they look when Haile Selassie was crowned, and they looked and said, you know, wow, is this what what the scriptures speak of? But when he brought forth the queen to the throne, that confused them. So it's a very mystical thing, you know, and it's it's very mystical how how and it just comes to show that the queen there can't be there is how can one be without a king and a queen? Right. It is it comes together. It it it's is is all in one and Haile Selassie has set that for the nations. <laughs> and an example. Give thanks and praises. And like you say, confuse many ones because it never just only confuse the, 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 it confused many ones all over the world, and in particular, I notice even today, it confused many, many black brothers and sisters, and many Rastafarian brothers and sisters. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. especially love for the Rasta version because I notice that's why even now, when you see that Coronation Day picture, like you, you know, that historical moment which you just mentioned, you see many people are are, are, are quick to sell the picture divided. Sometimes yeah. I've gone many places and I've seen that historical moment in history cutting off and you see the Empress uh, by himself and you see the Empress by herself. I mean, yeah. I say, but wait, what kind of something this? That's true, you that's know, true. So who give them a t the authority for do this where we don't know so the, histor the historical reality is that the Empress, you know, and again... Right, because we don't know say so from that time many brothers are still uncomfortable with, with overstanding what that meant, metaphorically speaking. Because remember say so for the for, for the benefit of our listeners, you know, in it, in ancient Ethiopia there has never been a time where the Emperor and the Empress have been crowned the same time. It has always been standard for the Empress maybe to be crowned two days or three days after the crowning of the king. Yes, sir. His Imperial Majesty, the Ancient of Days, the 225th to sit upon the yes. royal lineage, decided to change that order. Yes? yes. So that yes. her Imperial Majesty was calling the same day, enough man is still a shy and don't want to deal with that matter. Now, what does that mean? What, what, what was the message are we to receive from that? What did you receive from that Empress? There's the crowning of you know, Empress Men in the same day. 
What does that mean to you? You know, it, it, it means so much. But for me, as of now, the, I just look at it and say a power is in the family. The power is in the man and woman. And it's just a reminder that it is through man and woman that many more nations are to come. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way. Give thanks and praise. That's November the 2nd. That's coming this, this Sunday, Saturday, should I say. Have, have you got anything planned in particular? Um, are you performing in, within the public domain at all? No, I don't have any shows. It's, it's just for me. At that time is for, for you know, family and, family. and, and just for... Highly high and impressive. Yes, give thanks and praises. Blessings, welcome. You're locked into the original station, folks. www.sfdcradio.com. My name is Coach Genesis. This is the original Nubian beat. Currently talking to the Empress Khalila Rose. Yes, we're linking up with Jamaica Way. This, these tracks I'm taking up, um, I've been playing. I played Destiny, we played Your Eyes, Empress, um, Khalila. Is, is this, is this, of a, of a, is this an album production that's going on? What is, what is the, what is the mission right now? What is the, um, current, is this the Zion? Um, lullabies or is this something different what is the project with, 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 we're featuring here the, 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 the music you're featuring right now is from my debut project mm. which is entitled Zion's Lullaby alright yes okay. I and yes. you know I have a release coming up soon which is a, a song called Weep Not okay. and the video was produced by Skyanka mm -hmm. and um, we're soon to release the video and the song and so Sorry, go you ahead. may have that song it's on the album Weep Not produced by Dean Frazier wow alright beautiful beautiful fantastic and again what was the thought process behind that title sorry well, how did you come about choosing that title why that Weep title not. Zion I, you know I don't know it just came to me All and right. it just it just came and I just was just I'm some you know it just I'm so disgusted <laughs> by <laughs> by these powers that be in the world yes. and I'm so disgusted by Monsanto and all these disgusting devilish individuals in in society that are trying to kill human beings and human society wow. so that that song is just for them yeah. weep not the the root of king david sleep not and everything justice will prevail uh and then that and the track weep not when was that track composed Compose. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, right, <laughs> right before the, the 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 song was the album was released and the album was was released Release. last year. Last year, okay. Give no, them. this year or last. I'm um, so I don't know. Last, <laughs> <laughs> last. <laughs> <two>. <laughs> Empress now nah, ramp though. May I tell you? But Empress, before we play the track, yes, just genuinely though, yes, because you know, noted as um, Jamaica's, one of Jamaica's leading rootical Rasta Empress, yes, has been reported, yes, you know, um, how has the music industry generally been treating you? You know, I've I, I, it's been positive it's right. been very positive and I give thanks for that and I, and just more positivity is I'm releasing and hopefully it's coming forward you know there are so much negative that the more that I fed on that energy the more it came to me Okay. so wow. you know those individuals who shine that negativity is they're just lost individuals and only Jack can save them so I pray for them Otherwise, the music has been eyeful, and I give thanks for for everyone, especially the disc jacket and the radio programs, and 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 you, Silver Fox, everyone that's been playing my music. I my heart goes out to everyone. Let's all say the that disc jackets. Nice one. Give thanks, Empress Khalila Rose. Yes, introduce this track for me, sister. We have the weep not lined up. Introduce this track for me, please. Weep not, weep not, weep, weep not. Well, bona fide upon Monsanto and all the wicked, evil people them out there where I try to kill me. <laughs> Go ahead, pave the way to your dreams. 
Nesca Empress. Management is just is Master Silver Fox. I am the presenter. Circus Genesis. Bless and greetings and welcome to the show every time. Wrong song because I remember somebody played the Destiny track already. Oh, that one the ring a bell, so I was supposed to be playing Weep Not. Make it going to Weep Not. Yes, Empress Kalila Rose. Yes, Steppy. This are the track. Welcome to the show. www.sfdcradio.com. Luton Town, Bedfordshire to the world. Greetings. Weep Not. The road of King David. Sleep now. Empress Kalila Rose, weep not. Oh, weep now. Oh, the road of King David, sleep now. And pies in the corn and the sheep, pies in the fish in the stream. I'm still in a rainbow. Them all got a dose and all the fresh veggies ever. Be conscious of what you put in your mouth. Stop and reload the label. Cancer is lurking about. So watch what you put in on your dinner table. But we now. The road of King David. Sleep now. Oh, 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 Putting out the food, cause the food is the style for my life, you know. The style for life for what we need to survive. Be prepared to face this a judgment. So we the road of King David. See not no fire will be burning red hot. We the road of King David. See Empress or Inspire. What kind of the females that you are listening to? Tana. All the Luton. We had Empress um, and the Queen Africa in the Luton. Oh, Definitely looking forward to having this Empress in the Luton. Special greetings and welcome to the show original every time www.sfdcradio.com My name is Coach Genesis. This is the original new BMB program. Welcome, welcome every time. Members every day, Monday to Friday, originally 8 p.m. till midnight, United Kingdom time. Yes, so we say greetings going out to the world every time. Empress Kalila Rose, yes. are you there? Yes, sir. Give thanks. You know, Empress, we are reading. I'm, upon... I'm, ta- I'm speaking with Sir Kush now, right? Yes, yeah. All the time you've been speaking with Sir Kush. Sir Kush. You have, Mr. Right. You, you have Master Silver Fox on the, pan, 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 pan the keyboards, on the laptop. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Okay. Empress, do apologize. Now, just so you can visualize what I'm going on. Yes, yes. You know, so when you, look on the, when you look on the website and you see the rust with, you know what I mean, with, with the locks and thing, and the rust interview you from morning, yes? Okay, okay. Yeah, royal greetings every time tonight. Slim. Now, Empress, now we started, we are really upon you. We know they said that you've already scored number one in Italy 
They track the along, uh, uh, track alongside Turbulence, which we don't play yet. Unite and be strong. Yes. How did that make you feel to hear that news when you heard it? Well, I, you know, I felt I I didn't hear that news. <laughs> you know, I heard it. about Argentina. Well, I, I we have the news that it's, it's, it's called no, you, you tune with Turbulence Squad number one in uh, in uh, Italy. Oh, okay. There was a chart. And you, Argentina you know, it, number two, yes. number number two in Argentina for ten yeah. weeks. So, 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 what are you aware of? Um, you know, I'm aware of some things. Some things I'm not aware okay, of. Okay, Empress. Because I try to stay off searching my name. There was one time I used to search my name online and stuff, but I just, I stopped doing that because sometimes it can really. Um, deal with your meditation a certain way so okay. I just yes. just tried it I just keep trying it so sometimes I hear news from the item you know yes and I give thanks for that yeah man no, Italy I go have a big thing that track that you, uh, we, we haven't played it yet folks United and Be Strong a tough track again yes um, featuring also turbulence yes, and it's doing big things in Italy yes number two for ten weeks yes in Argentina yes um, you have been the most played female artist also on radio in Guyana, South Africa, Aruba, yes. New York, Australia, Nigeria. Have you have, have you been to all these places? No, I have not been to all those places. Not I've been, a, been to some places, but not everywhere. Okay, these places are definitely looking forward to you gracing them with your appearance one day. So it's like big things. Yes, I'm, I'm truly looking forward to... Um, being in South Africa because my ears are them are playing my music a lot out there, so I really want to um to bless up the place out there because I get so much love from South Africa. Okay, so where have you traveled? Where has your music taken you, Empress Kalila Rose? Where where have it, you been? For um some places in the Caribbean, in the U.S. and Europe, but I have not been to Africa as yet. Okay, so this year, how is this year, for instance, to, to date now? If you was to if, if I was to ask you, do you have a, a most memorable moment to date for this particular year? What would be your most memorable moment to date this year? Most memorable moment was giving the lecture on the legalization of the marijuana. Right, <laughs> nice one. Yeah, give thanks. All right. Yes. You know. That was memorable. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, tell us about some of the artists, them, Empress um, Kalila Rose, some of the various artists, them, male and female, that you have shared the stage with. Uh, well, I've I've to go up to some elders, and I've shared this stage with Freddie, with mm. Marcia, with John Holt, with um, it, uh, it's so many um veterans, artists. yes, and veterans them. Yeah, yeah, for real. Um, with Iwin, yes, I've shared the stage with uh Itana. I've shared the stage with. With um, Lady Saw, mm -hmm. you know there are many artists because nice. I've performed on some award shows and some some shows that are you know and are have a large bill. Lovely, lovely. Have you received any awards to date? What is your view on that? Are you somebody who would like to receive awards, like maybe like Grammy Awards eventually? Because I know I asked about your mission earlier on, and some people yeah. may say humbly, but within yourself, you know, some people have aspirations of, of, of achieving big money and Grammy Awards and this and that. You know, how, have you achieved any awards to date, and what is it that ultimately you would like to achieve? You know, um, I do set goals. I think it is very important to set mm -hmm. goals that are attainable and yes. to have goals. Yes. And I, I would love to receive a Grammy. That is one of ah, my goals go that, on, I am, that I am working towards. Yeah, man. Turn at the university because once you turn at the university, you don't know it. Go already. You know, we work it. We are around. Yeah, so. for real. You have to speak it into existence. Yes. So that's what I'm working with. And, you know, just I would love to just continue to just spread the message to the four corners of the earth mm. and of course I must um, tour Africa mm. you know so I have, I have many goals but you know in terms of awards I would I do want to you know receive a Grammy and go that's on, one of Empress. my goals go ahead and get that I'm wishing you all the best in them, them endeavors yes. so go on give thanks yes. beautiful so you know again you know, looking forward to the future looking forward to positive things and being optimistic at all times what is, yes. on, what, what is on the agenda for this particular year? Well, you know, I'm back in the studio and I'm working on my next project. 
and just I'm continuing to per push the music this this album. You know, I give thanks to um you, I am Tanya Tellwell, um Aki and Dumpling and mm -hmm. individuals that have been working ETP Media to push um the 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 name Kalila Rose and the music Kalila Rose. But I'm just continuing to do what I do best and that's make music. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful Empress Kalila Rose every time. Yes, yes. The, the audience no doubt is looking forward to seeing you. Is there any hopes? When can the audience them expect to see Kalila Rose in the UK or somewhere? What's going well, on for the future? That's oh, what I'm looking forward to um next year, early part of next year. Um, really want to come to UK and bless up the place, so we're working on that. Okay, before 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 we round up and before we we, we, we do a final um, closing comments, make, introduce this truck here for me, please, because this truck here, like we say, I go out with big things all over the place. Yes, um, unite and be strong. Yes, unity is the key for I and I survival. Kalila Rose and Turbulence. Rastafari. Mm. <laughs> No more innocent but in of it. For no reason, watch the hypocrite astray from the light. Them no one unite them are evil. Free your mind now is the time. It's the only way to shine. Come I tell you, say no uh, big artists and you know, all the things that uh, wait, 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 wait. No more things that we are joking. This thing here, yeah. no more things that are play, play things. Uh, Empress Kalila Rose, you know, alongside the turbulence, like big things going on. You know, number one tune that kick up Italy and all over the world. Watch them. Hello, good evening. Nubian Beach, Luton Town, Bedfordshire. Special greetings. Welcome, welcome to the show. No more innocent, but in a big world Unite and be strong Remember, sir, we have the Empress upon the line Big it up, Mr. Purple King, coming at the studio Honorable greetings every time, looking sharp They know not to ride them, I fuss them, I fight for no reason. Watch the hypocrite astray from the light, them no one unite them, are evil. Free your mind, now is the time, it's the only way to shine, come no people. Communication is best combination, each and every season. Unite and be strong.
Locked into the year one, originally, no folly whatsoever. Nubian beat, my name is Kush Genesis. Welcome, welcome to the show. Luton Town, Bedfordshire, United Kingdom, we're beaming out to the world. Special tonight to the Nikes, the Bill, the Master Gun, the Goose, the Gods, the Maui, the Maui, Mombasa, Ivy Slash, the first. Uh uh. Special good, I'm saying, bad, bad, bad production kicking up all over the world. Metal is saying, no, Empress, we give thanks for the word, the sound, the power, the strength every time. At this moment in time, Empress, I want you to send some greetings to fans, friends, and loved ones. Greetings? Yes, Empress, everything is blessed? Yes, everything is give blessed. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Again, unite and be strong. You know, what is the what is the reception? How has it been on the airwaves in Jamaica, for instance? Are you is that getting played in Jamaica? Uh, not, mostly your eyes is is picking up in Jamaica, and uh, no guns. Okay, yes, mm. yes. Well, you know, we say all we can say now is you know that we love the production and the vibration you're going on with Empress, and we know we want you to constantly send through all the music. Then we want to be playing your music them constantly. We love the vibration, we love the message, we love the strength. It's very important that our local princesses and also can hear the voice of uh, the, the, the feminine energy also. Yes, oftentimes, sometimes we can listen to the earwaves and our ear is pure, the, the male energy and the male voice is them. You know, so we want, if we know, so feel free for constantly sending the music them so we can be pushing the positive energy, yes, also with the feminine energy. Right now, um, I want you to send thanks. some greetings to some loved ones from the earwaves, Empress. Well, I would love to send maximum love and respect to goes out as always to the most high. Goes out to my 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 um parents and I would love to send love and honor to my team mm -hmm. which is um Aki and, and, and Tanya Thelwell of UIM Records. Bravo. And big up Black Diamond as usual. Give thanks and praises, Empress Kelly LaRose, live and direct, Jamaican Connection. We say watch out for the name, you know, people, because, you know, big things going on for the future. Empress, you know, what would your closing comments be to our listening audience? Just just keep positive and, and walk good and just walk with the most high. Those times are very, very serious. Give thanks and praise again. Thank you for joining us on the Nubian Beat, sfdcradio.com. Empress Khalila Rose, we're looking forward to seeing you in the future and we're wishing you all the best in your endeavors. May your guide and protect your prosperity, more health, more strength. Give thanks, Rastafari. Rastafari, blessed Lord. You could be a builder, you could be a leader. You can climb any mountainside as long as you try. You can fly high. You can fly in your life. Shine that light. Empress Kalila Rose. We give thanks and praises every time Empress for joining us live and originally every time. Track title Destiny. That is the encouragement. That is the message. Take control of your destiny. You'll be sad till you See, I'm a my destiny. See, I'm a 